Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, back with some more Dragalia Lost. So today's uh, video, I'm going to be looking over the Dragalia Digest. Um, at this point, it's been many hours since it last happened. Um, people are still very confused about many of the changes. Uh, and in general, it's going to be kind of a rough time trying to remember how to play Dragalia again. Because it... yeah, we'll get into it. Anyway... Today's video is going to be an overarching thing, so don't expect any big conversation about grander scheme of things. If you want to tell me your feelings about them, you can drop them and I'll gladly read them. Currently, I really don't have an opinion on uh, many of the changes, but let's get into it. And if you like this, you can leave a like, comment how you feel, um, and subscribe to me if you got some more stuff. Alright, so I have to put the sound down, so I will be skipping ahead forward. It's not going to be all 39 minutes. I already did a... 30 minute long video. This was the intro here. I like that the intro had the dog, um, the pup. Everyone loves the pup. He was not one of the things you're getting. This is how Dragalia players reacted to the new news. There it is. Um, and now, let me see. I'll pause that just because I like seeing that video. It does end with people. I like people a whole bunch. This was a very well done video, by the way. You should see it on your own time. So the first thing's first, the first galley unit- Oh, I should do the whole intro thingy. Sorry, sorry it's a, it's a bit uh, wonky here. This is the next Dragalia, Galadragalia. If- this is a spoiler for the story by the way, so... Um, if you don't know, it is, uh, in fact Gala... Zera, I believe her name? I just barely finished the story and I can't remember what- It's either Zeta or Zera. They're about to say it right now. It's the mysterious girl. It's the second Zynthia that we call her something different because it gets confusing that there's two Zynthias. I would have been perfectly fine calling her Zynthia too, but whatever. Um, no real info on her. Her banner is coming in the 29th. Uh, so that's something to definitely look forward to. Before her, we will be getting a Galadragalia with a lot of other units on it. So she's not going to be on it though. It's what's coming on the 26 after this current banner leaves us. So there she is. Looking good. Blasting all over the place. You also notice she looks different. That's because there's actually been a graphics up update to Dragalia. That's uh, really nice. It's really nice looking. Uh, and this is the basic Alley Dragalia stuff. Here's not. Okay so... Summon up to 330 times for free during 33 periods. So basically starting from when that gala banner's here until... <coughs> oh, sorry, excuse me. Um, for 33 days afterwards, ending on 10, uh, 29, 2020, um, we will have free summons. I've been badly wanting the return of daily free tenfolds. It feels like we have not been getting them. And I've been missing them, and I have no idea why they haven't been here, but now they're back. Uh, 330 times almost feels like that. Yeah, that makes sense. That would be that amount of time. So, obviously, there's going to be a whole buttload of banners. It's just not all going to be Galadragalia. Um, but I'm glad to be having... I, I love summoning, so let's go. Let's do it. So, this is the first, this is the Galadragalia I was talking about. I've been calling it a remix, but it's just a Galadragalia featuring uh, Alex, uh, Galaluca, and Galamim. Um... Gala Alex is insanely good, Gala Luca is very good, and Gala Mim is Mim. So you better fucking respect Mim. I will not stand any slander against this unit, even if there currently isn't a lot of use for her. I don't care. Fine, a true man finds a way to use their units. Uh, this is the first one right here. This is the login bonus that we'll be getting. Speaking of Mim, a mini Hildy at level 100 will be what we get. We'll also be getting, uh, I think it's better to look at a list of it. So it is 10 day login campaign, 2000 Warmite, a mini Hildy, 20 Rainbow Orbs, 2 Testament, 1 Sunstone, 1 Ingot, 20, 50 Talon Stones, uh, 1 5 Summon Dragon, and 1 5 Anniversary Print. So, there you go, over the days. Uh, pretty good! Can't complain, really. The login bonus is just bonus stuff to you, and I like the continuation of the mini stuff. The mini, the mini dragons have some of the best story, um, because they're so cute. The mini Zodiac one broke my heart when I saw it. It was so adorable. 
All right, let's go on to the next one, huh? Shall we? It looks like this is the yeah the following retweet campaign. Uh, we should be able to do that, um, and you can be randomly selected. My good friend Mayo, of course, was able to be selected once, and he said thank you, baby, to the Dragalia Red, uh, not to the Reddit, to the Dragalia Twitter. It was really good. It was really funny. Um, here are the value packs if you want to buy them. Let's move on. So here's the next event. Uh, again, kind of going. I suggest if you want a full breakdown, you you watch this about yourself because there's a very good reason to. The reason I can't actually hear it and watch it is because I get copyright struck in. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, this is the next event that's coming after Fractured Futures. In travel, Ilya traveled from Elysium to the prosperous far and wide, telling and reclaiming the bonds between people and dragon in ages past. Would grant the power needed to stand against the other. Uh huh. You got it. It is the other. It is more sighted. This is another spoiler. This is the, what the other, the other's name, we, which we know we've been knowing for a while now in the story. So yeah, the next story is going to be similar to Fractured Futures, where it's going to take place a hundred years in the past when the main lady of the church, Ily, Ily, Ilya, I think is her name. I don't think it's pronounced Ilian or Ilya. Yeah, the goddess is when she was actually alive, and for the actual banner. Um, you're gonna see it right here. Yeah, there she is. The Ilya, the founder of the Ilian Church. That is our goddess. Ilya's foster mother. Fairy guardian. Mean. Uh, and Mordecai. And Midgar Soma Zero, I believe, what his name is. So, they will all be the next. This will be a banner. There is the Zero one. The working of mana. Oh, so anime looking. Someone described this to me as looking very SAO like. Um, I've never watched SAO, so I'm just gonna have to take his word for it. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna fight. So yeah, that's gonna come next. Uh, similar where it's past. I think it's called Forgotten Futures. Yeah, Forgotten Truths. There it is. And this is going to be a Calendragalia too? I did not read that. Damn, there's a lot of Calendragalias. This is mean and Midgar Soma Zero. I didn't even realize that this was another fucking Gala banner. Jesus Christ. It's a lot of Gala banners in such a short amount of time. Um, is that... Man. Um, I hope you've been saving. If you've not been saving, then... Hope that the free summons are saving your ass here. Because that's a lot of... Gala banners to summon on now that I'm looking at it from a far away point of view. So here's some of the major changes. Graphical changes from version 2.0. Um, and summon system. Oops. Graphic changes. You can see here. This is very easy. I already kind of talked about it. Um, there's kind of a cell shading going on here that wasn't really existent before. Um, it looks nice. I like the new look for sure. Let's move on to the next one because this one is actually very important. So, summoning system for version 2.0. They're adding s worm singles. Um, and basically, once you've collected enough, you can just basically get any. Um, which you collected a certain amount from the summon event, you can redeem them for the adventurer or dragon from that event. So, if you save it for a big gala banner, you'll be able to get them. Uh, if they expire, they turn into remains, which can be exchanged for various items. That doesn't sound super great to me. It does take... So someone did the math. Someone says it would take 30 multis to get what you want. Um, that is basically the pity, is 30 multis. Uh, is that bad? I mean, in theory, unless you have the absolute worst luck in the world, you buy 30 multis, you will have the unit necessary. Um, it's kind of one of those pity systems where it's like, uh, I don't know how helpful this is going to be. Um, you have to have a lot of bad luck. And honestly, it's, it's, it's better than nothing, but also I feel like they could have, I don't know. I feel 20 is more manageable. I think personally, maybe I would have been fine if they had actually made it 50 summons, but then you got to actually keep, 
I don't like that they expire. I don't. That that's dumb. I I personally think that's very dumb. I don't care anything about items. All I care about are adventurers. If I'm going to be summoning, I want an adventure. I don't want any freaking items from it. Um, whip, weapon system changes in version 2.0. This is too complicated for me to actually talk about. Also, my brother's coming in, so I'm going to pause. All right, he got his water and left. Uh, let's continue on. The system, basically, here's the thing that's kind of changed is that, to sum up the easiest thing, because it's, it's really a complicated system and I don't have the best... The actual crafting of weapons has been streamlined, so they will now- it will be way easier to craft. The thing that's getting a lot of people confused as the moment is the actual grinding to improve them. Like, you can see the upgrade the number of times. It's this system right here. It's this system right here where upgrading weapons gets weapon bonuses and stuff like that. A lot of people aren't sure, um, how it functions at the moment. They aren't- they don't like how much material is needed to grind for it. I really think at the end of the day, once you have the basics of what you want from the weapon, the rest of the stuff doesn't really matter. Um, it will be implemented after the second anniversary maintenance. Yeah, I already know. I've been working on it. It, it. There's no easy way for me to explain it. It's it's very hard. And speaking of very hard, here's the worm print changes, which are another... So a lot of worm prints that were previously good... So they said going in that worm prints were going to lose at least one ability... What they didn't say were that the Worm Prints that only had one ability were going to get nerfed in some way. So the Chocolatiers is the one I'm thinking of. Um, I think it's been the most talked about example of this specific thing. Um, so the Chocolatiers, if you don't know what the effect is, Chocolatiers was a go-to Worm Print. It was necessary to have for a lot of builds. It gave 100% skill charge. That's all it did. It that's all it ever did, um, and now it only gives 50%, so it didn't have two abilities. I'm not like saying like, oh, it gave 100% skill charge and something else. No, it just straight up gave 100% skill charge. It doesn't do that anymore, which was the whole point of the print, so it's an effective, effectively useless unless you combine it with another print that also gives 50%. This is a whole system that it's going to require a lot of stuff to get used to and really I don't feel confident enough to tell you how to do it yourself. I'm personally just playing around and here's the reason why I'm actually just playing around and not really focusing too hard on it is that over 150 adventurers and dragons are being adjusted. So what is the point of getting trying to figure out the current system when so many are getting buffed right afterwards? So so separate difficulties and rewards for solo and co-op play. If you actually go in now in solo, a lot of the solo Agidos will give you a bonus for it. And I think solo has also been made a bit easier. Um, I believe their reason for this was that they wanted it to be... Like they were thinking that co-op was too... Um, What's the right word? It was like too limited, I think, of what they wanted to do. What they found was that a lot of people were might gating stuff which is what happens, which is whatever, if do you, it, it's very rare to find a, um, a game in Dragalia where it's not mic gated in co-op, I feel. Um, also, so here's the new weapon type, the gun we were talking about, the mana caster. So just to get back on this, um, and I didn't mention it before because I forgot, I might have skipped it, but also, um, Warmite for co-op has been reset, but basically solo is a bit easier. They want you to actually try and you know, do the easy, it, it make it easier to solo to see how the fight goes and then maybe go into master that way, um, go into co-op that way, but I don't know. This is a very, I like that it's different now. It, it also means that I can just play solo and not have to deal with co-op. Because the problem was also is that a lot of the higher end people, at least back then, uh, they just soloed the hard content by themselves and they didn't play co-op, so... And the, there's also rewards differences playing solo and co-op as well, so... I don't know, it's very it's very different. I think that's fine for me, personally. I wasn't, like, crazy grinding them already. Um, it also looks like they were... Increased the amount of stuff you have, but... Yeah, I, I, mean, I end up being fine with that specific change that they've done. So here's the brand new mana caster. Uh, it's the gun. Uh, the mana caster has three styles. It's got long range attacks, it's got short range attacks, and this has a rapid fire uh, AoE. 
Uh, yeah, there it is. Um, as you can see here, the person currently using the guns. Uh, so a lot of adventures will be added to this. Right now, there's actually one. Joe, which was the name everyone said, I hope Joe gets a gun. They decided to make Joe a Manicaster 3 adventure, and they just gave it to everyone. So it was a gift. So if you want to play with the gun and you want your go your gun go your gun Joe play with them. Um, I haven't messed around with it a whole bunch, but it looks like a lot of fun to be honest. So mass difficulty quest for yeah, these are all the this is the date for all the hard stuff coming. Um, so here's something that no one was expecting they added a gun to dragalia so then of course they added a battle royale the alberian battle royale i've played maybe one game of this it's a lot i i think it's a lot of fun it's not something you take a whole buttload serious you just kind of you know play dragalia and have this weird mode where everyone has like all these different things um it's pvp but at the same time it's not really super um like pay to win because you're not really paying the only thing that you're really getting from the shop is like skins weapon skins and you know a stone it's not like anything that's it's not like there's a ranking system where it's like oh get this much rank and then you'll get this character it doesn't really exist for it right now i think this is a fun side mode that you can play uh and i think that's really cool that it's just in the game it's never going to be the main focus um in dragalia i think that's for sure but I don't know, as a fun side thing to do, it's like, hey, I got some time to spare, let me just fucking drop down, beat up some people. It's fun. Um, yeah, so this is what they're talking about 2.0. Let me go on to the next thing. You all know how to play Dragalia at this point, so. Um, this is, I think, the last thing we need to talk about, and it deals with the main campaign. Um, so... The, the good thing to look into the main campaign is that it's a good way to tell who's going to be the next Galabanner. Um, and one of the dudes that pops out to me in this specific trailer is not the girl, little girls. They don't pop up to me. Um, wait for it. Leonidas. So that makes me feel like... So currently in the story, Leonidas is going through some stuff, uh, trying to find some truth. I wonder if that specific chapter will maybe give us... Um, Leonidas we already have his dragon Mars so it's only a matter of time before we just actually have Leonidas as well so I could definitely see it this is them going to the fairy kingdom what I lack that's I, I hope that's in reference to Galaranzel not being very good so maybe <laughs> maybe they plan to improve him in some way but that's just me wishful thinking that's a giant booby to win winged woman very fan big fan of that that's a pirate man of some kind Please take me to the fairy. So here's the big one. Here's the wait for it. I think this is the biggest tease. Leonidas is a stretch. This, this, this has to mean that there's a not playable not coming. Um, not is maybe one of my favorite characters in Together. She's so much fun because she's just like literally the little fun fairy one. She's also extremely small. So if they find a way to actually make not a playable adventurer, if people can be a, a, um, a playable character and he's a suicidal vegetable, then I think not can be the pun giving fairy woman can definitely be uh, a adventurer of some kind. And at this point, this man breaks down the brand new changes coming to Dragalia, and you should watch this because honestly, it's a lot. A lot of changes have coming. It's basically like playing a brand new game. I would suggest actually watching this video because, again, I'm not going to be talking about a lot of that stuff. So let me just sum up in case I've missed anything. Um, 33 days of free summons. They reset the social reward counter reset up to 25,000 Wormite for playing co-op. Uh, follow and retweet campaign. Uh, you can get um, 1,200 Wormite for 30,000 retweets. Triple drops are coming for power slash fortune dailies. Double drops for IO and stuff like that. Double wing recovery. Summon showcase of Galadrigalia on September 29th, which is Galaz uh, Galazena. Uh, before that, we're going to have on the 26th, that's a Gala banner, which just has everyone. So you want to wait out until you get that Galazena. Ooh, excuse me. <clears throat> Um, and this is also one of the few times where I think... Oh, no, it's not. Uh, <coughs> new event, Forgotten Troops, will start on September 30th and goes until October 12th. 
There is a worm signal obtained from summoning. Um, tame, uh, tame from summoning. Collecting enough will allow you to trade directly for eligible adventurers and dragons. Expired signals will be used to purchase uh, items instead. They didn't really mention how long the expiration date, so we're gonna have to see how that is. There's the re the weapons were reworked and a gun was added. There's a battle royale mode. Uh, worm prints were completely reworked. Shops were updated. Um, cell shaded graphic style. Over 150 units are getting buffs. Difficulty content for now for will now offer solo versus co-op with co-op offering more rewards. Oh, I didn't mention this because it's such a sore subject. Time attack is returning. Um, time attack is very controversial. That's all I'll say. If you if you feel nothing from me saying the word time attack, you weren't here for time attack. Um, the encyclopedia, this is where he mentioned the second encyclopedia feature has been uh, delayed. There's been a little problem with that. And that's basically it. Oh, the story content chapter eight, chapter 16 is coming October. Uh, chapter 17 is coming December and February for chapter 20. What? Chapter 18. Not chapter 20. I was looking at the Reddit, so that was their mistake. You can find all this on the Reddit as well. Um, along with people giving various concerns. It feels like there's a very... It's a lot. It's a... Okay. So let me... This video is long enough. Almost. It's almost nine minutes away from being as long as the digest. Here's my overall thoughts. Something in Dragalia had to change. I think that whatever needed to change, whether it be good or bad, we won't know until we have the full changes on here. But for the people who are saying like, oh, why did they change this? Have you been playing Dragalia recently? Have you not seen the fact that something needed to change, that something had to be different? If you didn't, then I'm, I just, you were just people continuously playing with what you had. So... I can understand that I personally welcome new changes. Um, not everything is going to be perfect. You should always, as you always do, send them feedback to make it respectfully send them feedback. There's no use between us arguing between each other when I think the best course of action is to actually send your feedback to the devs because they listen. If you have a problem with the system, send it to them. That's how we got eventually a Halloween Ellie rework. And now she's technically getting another rework because she's about to get buffed again, but whatever. The point I'm trying to say here is, is that you should wait until everything is available. And then once we have everything, start complaining some. I can already feel like there's going to be some. One of the things I actually do wish that they improved is that you can't pick multiple of the five Wormite. You have to, uh, five Worm Prints. You have to pick them individually, and I think that's kind of annoying. They should change that. Um... A lot of people are just confused at the moment, not sure what's going on. Uh, time attack is something that you should definitely be afraid of for various reasons, but I think... I don't know. Actually, I don't know how that's going to go, to be honest. Um, let me go to not, because I'm feeling bad staring at this man's face. Um, so yeah, that's basically my end thoughts. Overall, I'm very excited for a lot of stuff coming. I'm very happy. Um, don't take that to mean that I'm not at least in some way reading the negative things that people have to say about it. It's definitely, a, I feel it's definitely a thing of like, I think we just never going to see eye to eye on this specifically because a lot of the negative things I always see are centered around, uh, maybe some of the higher tiered players. Um, and really Dragalia is slowly just getting away from them because they realize like we can't cater to people who barely play the high-end content and i think that kind of sucks for a lot of the people who enjoyed the old high dragon trials i'm not gonna say that it doesn't suck for them but at a certain point they looked at the data that they had the feedback that they had and they made changes you can't just go around saying like they just made this out of nowhere they didn't make it out of nowhere they literally had a buttload of people sending them feedback and you know how you can get things to be better by continuously sending them feedback because this is what happens when people don't fully understand what's going on is that they just don't send feedback so their feedback doesn't get listened to so it feels like the game's not for them. When the answer is is that you actually just need to send it a whole bunch um, and hopefully it'll be enough. So that's my end feelings on this. Very happy about all this stuff. If you're not happy about it, I can understand to a certain extent, of course, because I 
want to try and be an understanding person, um, and I will gladly read any of the negative things that you have to say about the update. I know that a lot of people are confused right now. I'm just not sweating it because the full update isn't even out yet in my eyes. Until those 150 adventure changes come out, I don't know how to feel. That's how I currently feel. So I'm just kind of having a smooth time picking whatever, having fun. And don't forget that they're also changing those boss fights as well. That's another thing that's coming, They that they said is coming, so... Unless the change from solo to whatever is considered that, but I could have swore they said that with the adventure changes also coming Agito and High Dragon Trial fight changes, but that's in the air here and over there. This video is now way too long. Thank you everyone who actually made it here to the end to hear my thoughts. If you made it this far, I really hope you liked it and you leave a like. Um, or you can leave a dislike. Actually, don't leave a don't leave a dislike. Don't do that. All the people who left the dislike disliked it at one minute when I started coughing. Because they can't stand it. They were so annoyed by it and they couldn't handle it anymore. Uh, I'm rambling. Alright everyone, that's the end of today's video. Until next time, see ya. Bye bye, have a good day.